I came first of all in 2014 as the Dean of the School for Continuing Studies and it was right on the cusp of uh, launching its uh, Peterson Hall, which was exciting. It was engaged in creating new technologies for all the classrooms and being able to serve the students in that way, as well as be able to serve the international students through the technology that they had brought into Booth. So that was an exciting time. When I first started with the college, it didn't even have a name. I uh, bought into a, a vision of something that I thought was really important. By 1987, there was really the need to move from the original small campus on Assiniboine Avenue, and that was a good thing. It started with, I don't know, a couple dozen students. It had grown from that as we had hoped it would, and so we needed to relocate. It was obviously very small. The residence was in a separate building. The library was in the basement, and uh, the chapel was an all-purpose room that was a classroom as well. When we moved, of course, to 447 Web Place, we had a gymnasium, a large chapel, and located on 290 Vaughan Street, we had a beautiful library and uh, Peterson Hall, most recently, uh, that hosts our business program and our School for Continuing Studies. When I first started at Booth, the atmosphere was a little bit more like a Bible college. Okay, so if you go back to 2001, the summer of 2001, that was kind of the, the ethos that they were moving from, okay? And they were just starting to move out of that into more of a university college model. Over time, the place has proven itself in terms of its reputation, its recognition amongst other post-secondary institutions, in terms of the community and its reception of the students, its belief in their capacity. Um, so, yeah, proud of that development. My first introduction to Booth University College was through graduates. A big sign of Booth University College coming of age is the fact that four of the faculty here are former students and the fact that they've chosen to come here is a testament to what they received and the contribution they're now making. The biggest change I've seen at Booth University College is in technology. When I started at Booth, uh, there was one computer and at the end of each month, I would pack up all of the uh, ledgers and take them all into the library and I would sit for three days and type all of the financial activity for the month into the computer so that we could have electronic financial statements. And now, for the past two years, we have been actually running Booth University College from our living rooms and kitchens and home offices. We had to learn how to, for me, I had to learn how to teach clinical skills on Zoom, have students play on Zoom and then give them feedback. And it was challenging, but it was a great learning experience for me. I like the fact that uh, faculty you know, was very supportive. We were very supportive of each other. And so it made it uh, not as rough as some of us thought it was going to be. My favorite part about working at Booth UC is working with the brilliant staff and faculty that are there. Uh, we have the slogan of education for a better world and that's pretty bold and powerful but I also like the slogan that is we're better together when we link arms as a staff and faculty looking at the world and what Booth can do to make a difference. The Salvation Army has had a history of serving the poorest and most marginalized for over 150 years and Booth carries that into its social work program, into its wisdom about the way that it engages with the world. Yeah, Booth UC's values of hope, mercy and social justice are carried into everything that we do. I think because we've identified those three pillars, we do a really good job at addressing each of those issues somewhere within a degree and more than once they are touched on within any one of the disciplines that a student would be taking here. And that is something that I don't think that they're going to get at a larger, more secular institution. Over the next five years, I'm looking forward to increasing student enrollment and also looking forward to starting a master's in social work program. I think in the next five years, Booth has a very bright future. Uh, we have proven over the past two years that we uh, can be nimble and move quickly. I think as the world moves quickly and what people want from an educational institution changes, I believe that we can change quickly to respond to that. I see Booth serving the Salvation Army, both the Canada and Bermuda Territory as well as internationally. And I see Booth serving locally in Winnipeg through our on-campus programs where students come not just from Winnipeg but from all over the world. When we began in 1982, 
we had little idea of what it would become. And it still has a big vision, bigger than the institution is right now. But 40 years, 40 years is something to celebrate. So congratulations, Booth University College. I'm really proud to be still part of it and its, uh, its legacy and its future. Besides the uh, rolling out of new programs and initiatives, the launching of a corporate learning academy, the expansion of the international reach of Booth University College, there's also the fact that we're mindful that Booth University is based on Christian faith and principles such as love and uh, faith and mercy and service and social justice. So bringing all of those pieces together is going to be an exciting next five years at Booth University College and I believe for the world as well.